they gave me a picture of a building. And uh, they said, we're not going to tell you where this building is. Your, your charge here, the, the mission, A, find the building. Once you've found it, countries, nobody cares. Find this building. Once you find the building, go to the, I can't remember, the second or third floor, pass through the wall, go down the hallway, find the bank vault door, pass through the vault door into what's a, we'll call it a lab. Go to the northwest corner and there's a table and on the table is an object. Push your face into the object, collect as much data as you can, wake yourself up and draw it to detail in scale on a piece of paper. That was my mission. It took me two and a half weeks of out-of-bodies just to find the building. And when I found the building, it took three or four out-of-bodies to get to the vault room. But I was finally able to pass through the vault door, which is an experience in itself. Passing through a vault door, you can actually feel it. It's like peeling your way through an onion with your molecular shape. It, I don't know how to explain that. But it's like you can feel every molecule as you pass through it. I don't think it's so much the material as it's the, the denial of access that does that to you. I, I, don't, I can't explain it. But you get inside the room and you go to the northwest corner. I'm not sure I was at the northwest corner. I just went to wherever the table was. And there was an object about this size on the table, and I pushed my face into it, and I memorized it in detail. Tried to understand how the parts in her worked with each other, that, side, that kind of thing. And then woke myself up, and I went in. I had a drafting table in my home, and I drew a detailed picture of it. And I rolled it up, put it in a tube, and mailed it to the people that had tasked me. Uh, they came out some weeks later, two guys, and they said, we have some questions we want to ask you. And I said, fine. And they said, where did you take high energy physics? And I said, I have never taken high energy physics anywhere. Okay, who do you know that's a high energy physicist? And I said, I know one guy, Ed May, He's my good buddy from the lab, LFR, Laboratories for Fundamental Research. I've known him in the remote viewing area since I started. I said, I know him. He's a low energy physicist. I don't know any high energy physicists. Okay. Uh, where do you check your books out? What libraries? And I was like... Oh, come on. I'm starting to think. You don't believe what I did. You think I just psychically figured out what it was, and I've asked people in detail about it. No, we just really want to know where you sign your books out. So I gave them permission letters to go to the two libraries I used and ask what books did he sign out, that sort of thing. I think they were very badly misled when they saw what books I signed out. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, I uh, got the idea that they didn't believe what happened, and it pissed me off. So I said, I could build something better than what I saw. What did you see? I'm not sure. Some kind of a trigger or something for uh, a device of some kind. I don't know, but I knew I could build one better just by going into light fiber. This is a copper wire thing. I said, I could speed it up 
a hundred thousand times with light fiber. In fact, I could make it so fast it would get warm when it runs or hot even and melt down. So I'd have to put it in an acrylic cube and run coolant through it. So I did all that and I drew it in detail, but it was down to about twice the size of a pack of cigarettes. And I drew it to scale in detail with lots of notes and stuff. The big thing was a, there was a trigger in it. I don't know if, there are certain things that if you put too much power to them, it'll kill a city. You know, it'll just shut all the power down. It's like the big lights over a football field. If you just snap a switch and turn them all on at one time, the city goes dead, goes dark. So they have these switches that are slow build switches. They come on very slowly and the lights come on very dim and they start brightening and eventually they come up to operating speed. That way the light doesn't explode when it's suddenly lit and all the power is going to the lights and that sort of thing. Well, I needed one of those switches and I couldn't find one. I went to a three or four different electronic places. So I finally found a switch that would work and I drew that into the plan. And I roll it up, put it in a tube and mail it. They showed up the next day. Non-disclosure agreements, never promised never to draw this again ever. Don't show this to anybody. Don't talk about it in detail with anybody, blah, blah, blah. So I signed all their papers and said bye. I've never been tasked with another out-of-body target. Can I ask why you signed those papers? Because I didn't give a shit. Did it bother you that somebody was having you sign documents basically saying, we're going to limit your mental capacity? No, because I can still go out of body anytime I want. I can still do things out of body. I just don't tell people about it. Where was the building? I don't know. I honestly don't. How did you find it? I don't know the answer to that either. I just kept looking everywhere I went out of body. I just kept looking. How did you begin the search? Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.